Hi darlings and welcome to my latest Christmas gift guide as you might be able to tell from Hello. this matching plonker joining me in today's video we I are doing I, don't, I really like them it's a really nice pattern but it looks better on it's one of those yes. jumpers that looks a lot better on we actually look like we're wearing just one big jumper <laughs> It's like one of those joined ones. <laughs> we look like we're joined together. We're not. We're not joined together. They oh are normal God. jumpers. We're doing our Christmas gift guide for him today. And as I do every year, I've roped in Charlie. This is the first year you've been doing this as my fiance. Wow. Ooh. What's the date today? It's, we're still about a week or so off when we got engaged. I think, Aww. when did we get engaged? On the 12th? 10th. 10th, I knew that. Yeah. I knew that. We're filming this video in our very cozy cabin at Soho Farmhouse. I've never filmed a video at night like this before, but we were feeling so cozy and festive, it seemed like the perfect opportunity. We've got the chimenea blazing I away behind us. I feel like I'm those. being cooked, though, to a medium rare. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling well done. You're well actually. done. I'm yeah. pretty well done. <laughs> like you like steak. Absolutely. Like steak. You're matching. So today's gift guide is going to be for the gentleman in your life, whether that's your fiance, your brother, your dad, your boyfriend, any gentleman in your life. And today's video we are working with Debenhams. So everything that we mentioned in today's video is available from Debenhams and we'll leave everything linked down below. Would you like to get started, darling, or should I? I will kick things off. Okay. Should I kick things off with a stocking filler? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Because we like to do stockings for each other every year. We do. Um, we kind of, of discuss our main present, don't we? Like, we buy something uh, yeah. big for the house. I think we try and make a sensible decision for the big present, and yeah. then we try and choose five or six smaller things yeah. for a stocking. Josie has only recently sort of understood how a stocking works, because she <laughs> used to get stocking fillers that don't fit in a stocking. Do you remember that? To so me, I used to get an empty stocking and wrapped presents. See, to me, a stocking filler is just something that's like fairly affordable. It needs to fit in a stocking. Okay, what's Hence your first stocking filler, Dying? First for? stocking filler is from Bjorn Borg, and it's a handy three three boxes gift set. Yeah. So I have been wearing these boxes since I was about eleven or twelve. Not the same ones. Not these ones, don't worry. <laughs> um, but um, I've been wearing Beyond Board boxes since then. As I've got a bit older, I have gone for sort of more pastel block <laughs> colours rather than the really layery ones. Mm -hmm. But this is a nice gift set because it has two block colours yeah. and then a slightly more out there pair. Mm -hmm. They're ultra comfortable, um, they're very good in the gym. I yeah. often wear them playing rugby, mm -hmm. just all round a good stocking filler. Am I right in thinking they are the best pounds. value when you buy them as a set? Yeah, it's best to buy them as a set. Um, mm -hmm. 35 for three, it is very good value. Yeah. For Bjorn Borg, certainly. I mean, you can pay as much as £25 for one pair. And men's boxes are expensive, so I think it's a really nice thing to gift at Christmas because yeah. you might not spend £35 on a set of boxes yourself. I mean, I personally wait until Christmas <laughs> yeah, for someone you know to I'm buy me this them. sort of stuff. Yeah, so very good. a really nice stocking filler. Or Secret Santa present. Yeah. Well, not many Secret Santas go up to £35. No, but I know that I think Debenhams have sets of two on, on oh. there. Or even if it's just a one-off Larry pair. Of well, my first stocking filler is a pair of gloves. And this is kind of because every time we go out, Charlie's always complaining about being cold, whether that's your hat, whether that's your head or your hands. So this year, I think a great stocking filler is a pair of gloves. Debenhams have a lot of really good kind of own brands. I think this is an own brand. Yeah, it is. Hammond & Hammond & Co. They by do nice Patrick knitwear. Grant. Oh, do they? Yeah, I've had some knitwear from them. Them before oh. as well. And these are leather gloves. I can imagine your dad are wearing these as well. Yeah, I, I would I would say that is a perfect present for a male family member yeah. if you don't know what to get them. Yeah, because I mean they're just very classic gloves. It's aren't an they? essential Brown leather. It's an essential. Yeah. It actually says the recognised house for gentlemen's premium accessories. How much are they? Um, they are £40, okay. so they are quite premium, but then the next step quality, up is though. kind of designer gloves and they really are quite expensive. If you put, put your on. Yeah, if you put your <laughs> if you put your hands in, they're really soft inside, they're not leather inside. No. So they're leather well, on the outside. Perfect. Yeah, but they're really cozy on the inside. I just thought they were very high end looking, um, and yeah, as you say, good for mm. good for people that you don't know what to what to buy for them. And these would look good with sort of a navy pea coat or something like that as well, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Good for the rugby. Very good. In terms of next gift, mm -hmm. I would say this is a stocking filler in our work, in, in, in what we buy each other because we only do stocking presents. Yeah. However, it is definitely a main gift because it is a high price point. And that is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. You're obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. So I have always loved Tom Ford fragrances. The private blend fragrances, in all honesty, are so expensive that it can be hard to justify buying them because they're, you know, approaching £200. Mm -hmm. Ombre leather was a private blend. 
I was addicted then. Mm. They've now actually lowered the price, oh. changed the bottle, which arguably <laughs> is a nicer bottle. Yeah. And it's now, I think, around about, for 50 mil, it's around 60 or 70 pounds. Okay. It's about 110 pounds for 100 mil. Mm -hmm. But you only need one or two sprays. It's very strong. And again, it's the kind of fragrance that you probably wouldn't necessarily buy for yourself because it is it's super premium. Treat. Yeah. But that to me is like the epitome of sexy man smell. That That is absolutely my favorite fragrance on you. Yeah. And it's perfect. I think I was trying to explain this to a guy, a friend of mine recently. Mm. In the winter, as a guy, or in the colder months, you want a stronger fragrance. Yeah. Because the, the air temperature, the conditions, the clothing you're wearing, mm -hmm. you need, a, you, and your nose as well is affected mm. when, when you're outside and it's cold and this is perfect yeah but, um i get so asked good. about what, what when i wear this i'm on, honestly every time someone asks me what it is <laughs> so it's a kind of a best kept secret which is now going to be ruined by featuring <laughs> it on this video <laughs> never mind we're spreading the love my next gift charlie would probably say is not stocking filler because it's so big but it's that's the that's where the challenge is because it is kind of a stocking filler isn't it yeah slippers so again, I think in winter, you're, before you started wearing slippers, you were like, oh, my feet are so cold in the house, especially yeah. if you've got wooden floors or tiled floors in your house. Slippers are just an ultimate cozy essential, and men tend to wear the same pair over and over. They get shredded by the dogs, they get all battered. Or you wear them outside one one time yeah, and they get ruined. When I make you go and take the bins out. Yeah. So I think a lovely pair of slippers. And these are Jasper Conran, so a really lovely brand. Cozy um, inside as very well. Very cozy. They're kind of like a faux sheepskin inside. And they let me just look, I don't know if I can get it out. I can. I think they are just again a very, very classic design, would you say? Yeah, I think they're 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 actually pretty smart, these ones, to yeah, be honest with you. They are. Um and they do have a grippy sole, so if you have to wear them outside, you probably could get away with it. Another it's another gift which is perfect because it's not something as a guy you'd buy yourself. But yeah. you need. Yeah, you can never imagine a guy going and being like, oh, no. you need a pair of slippers. I, I guarantee you, I would be surprised if there's any guy out there that wouldn't be excited, wouldn't wouldn't have a real need for something like this. Yeah, for it's sure. It's quite practical, actually. It is. Um, and something that I should mention is with the smaller gifts, Debenhams actually are this year selling these amazing gold gift boxes. So you can go and buy oh. your gift box, and then you can just fill it with all of these slightly smaller gifts. Do they do the Rowan Atkinson thing? Where it's like a bow and then more on sprinkles. Probably. I will probably do that myself. I'd love that, yeah. But yeah, so they have the gift boxes and you can fill it up for the person or people that you're buying for, uh, which is great for the smaller presents. And I think the biggest of the gift boxes would fit this in as well. And no wrapping. And no wrapping. Which is really quite nice. You can reuse them, which is great. So I'll leave a link to the gift boxes down below as well. What is your next gift, darling? So next gift is kind of, I think you can buy these individually. Mm -hmm. Um and they're from Clinique for Men. Mm -hmm. and it's part of the new Energizer range. I think it's called Energizer range. Um, super Energizer. Super, ener super Energizer, very American. Um, I, I am a big fan of Clinique, mm -hmm. but these are by far my most favorite products of theirs. You I've always loved the eye roller. Everywhere. And this is a slightly updated version. Is this got caffeine in it? Uh, I think it has like ginseng. The, the main thing that in this, a mm. gel versus a cream, is the gel under the eye really tightens the skin. Oh. And, and so it reduces puffiness. Okay. Whereas creams, I think, just moisturise under the eye and yeah. stop wrinkles. Okay. So if you're trying to like hide a hangover, which is perfect, you know, in party season, or if you're just genuinely very tired mm -hmm. one morning, this is an amazing gift for a guy okay. or a girl. Um, and then this is their moisturiser, which I also love. I tend to take this when we travel and when mm -hmm. we're not. SPF we're, 40. Yeah, which is also massively uh, positive, mm -hmm. you know, in skincare now. But um. Also quite standout bottles, so quite a nice stocking filler or just a, a general gift. They definitely stand out, so you won't be stealing my skincare and mistaking yeah, it for yours anymore. Yeah, this is true. Anymore, which but, is definitely a bonus. But this is probably my favourite of the two, mm. uh, the eye roller. And if you can get a guy to use an eye gel, it will make a big difference. I think it's really funny. I don't know if I even told this story last Christmas gift guide, but Charlie in the rugby changing rooms, his pals used to come up to him being like, oh mate, where's the best bar to go to? Whereas now it's like, oh Charlie, what's the best eye cream to use? These eye bags. Are they it's more like, it's more like I'm like the, like, like the in-house sort Beauty of. Beauty guru. I'm the, no, I'm in the in-house like apothecary. Like everyone comes to me like, do you have any shower gel? Cause I haven't got any. Or do you have any deodorant? You're like so I now bring like double. the best tips. Yeah, exactly. So, like Charlie's, Del Boy Charlie's the, the shower to gel world. <laughs> Speaking of hangovers, <laughs> my next gift idea, which I think again is something that you really can't go wrong with, and whether it's maybe not for your boyfriend because you probably 
I don't know, we'll end up sharing it with him, but maybe for a dad or a brother or an uncle, I think a gin set is a really nice idea. And this was my favourite one. They have some really lovely ones pretty, on Debenhams. It's a nice pretty like arrangement, isn't it? Yeah, I actually um, did a whole gift guide for him blog post, and Debenhams have loads of different gin and alcohol sets. Like, they've got a Bailey's advent calendar, um, they've got a really nice Sipsmith gin set, but the one that I chose for this gift guide is this Manchester gin. Um, it's got a tonic, it's got Two the really glasses, nice glasses are actually lovely, amazing. They? Well, they're their proper gin glasses. Not yeah. a lot of people have them. And you end up drinking mm. gin out of a short glass or a tumbler. But yeah. that's how you should drink gin. I think this would be a really nice gift as well if maybe your brother or your, I don't know, boyfriend's friends have just moved into a new house or they've just moved out of a uni house. To be honest, it's, it's nice the safe, it, 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 that and the slippers for me are if you don't know what to buy someone, yeah. safe bet. Really guaranteed good. to please it. Guaranteed crowd pleaser. Yeah, and it's just a little bit more thoughtful than just a bottle of gin or a bottle of red wine. And I think gin this year, like, everyone's obsessed. So, yeah, another fail-safe gift idea. Maybe pair it with this for after. <laughs> yeah, for afterwards. Are we on to our main present now? Yeah, main present. Yeah, so this is something that both Charlie and I, you probably already know, are absolutely obsessed with. They have some amazing deals on in Debenhams at the moment. I believe this one... Either you get a load of free capsules or it's like almost a hundred pound off. Um, but do you want to hold it up because yeah. I'm far too hot to do it? You have to, to excuse it. the box is a bit battered from the car. But this is the new Nespresso Virtuo. Mm -hmm. And basically, for those of you that haven't seen it, it's a new capsule. So Nespresso capsules are obviously quite iconic shape. This is a new shape. Mm -hmm. And we're both pretty obsessed with it because... It's very clever. The capsule size is read by the machine, yeah. and then the coffee is is a certain length. Some yeah, volume. so basically the capsule almost has like a hidden barcode within it So you don't need to press a button and tell it to do a latte or a cappuccino or an espresso Because the machine knows based on the capsule that you mm. put in um, And what's amazing about this machine if like me you like a really long coffee with a big crema on the top like a cappuccino or a latte It makes that really amazing frothy layer on top yeah. without you having to have a milk frother So it's just delicious and they have limited edition Christmas capsules which are like almond flavour and macaroon flavour. I mean we're obsessed. This, we this is actually going to be going in our office isn't it? Yes. So that we when now we get an office. <laughs> yeah it's amazing. It is amazing and for a guy as well I think I think girls are quite happy with like the Creatista machine which has got the little spout and it's really cute it looks almost like KitchenAid style quite shabby chic French kitchen whereas this I would say is a manly coffee machine it looks kind of like something from Star Wars. Yeah um, I think this is is the perfect gift for any guy but yeah. you know what like for anyone that's sort of in that mode of where they've just moved into their first flat or they've just moved to London or they've just left uni yeah don't give it to anyone at uni because it'll get ruined but yeah, but, yeah. but like my brother he's recently moved in with his girlfriend yeah and this is kind of a present for him but also for her yeah, for sure. And if you already know someone that's got an espresso machine, then you could gift them some capsules or like a subscription of capsules. I think that would be a really good idea as well. Uh, yeah, the subscription concept is brilliant because we're constantly running out yeah. and then having to go into store. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Yeah. I did actually just think of another present, which we don't have a physical thing to um, share with you, but something else amazing that Debenhams do. Sorry. Yeah, pop the heavy coffee machine down. <laughs> it is gift experiences, and I had to tell Charlie before this video, but um, one No, thing... I never get... I, this is the only problem with these gift guides, which are lovely, is I now no longer have any surprises. <laughs> no, but is this one not worth it? So Debenhams well, have... Well, I don't know at the moment. ...these gift experiences, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I have bought Charlie for Christmas a gift that is taking the two of us or someone else of your choice maybe your granddad for a tour of the old Trafford Centre is that what it's called no, no. it's called old it's called old Trafford <laughs> old Trafford the Not greatest the, Trafford the greatest football stadium ever yeah um i have been once before once or twice to watch games but yeah. to actually have a tour of it will be special i'm hoping by then Jose Mourinho will have been sacked um, <laughs> so oh, it'll be yeah. a little bit more enjoyable but um but it's a pretty special gift actually yeah so you can get things from like helicopter tours to um, beer making classes, they have loads of experiences. But I thought the one from Manchester United was pretty cool. So that's another kind of like main gift idea that you can get all of these things from Debenhams. I think experience gifts are... I feel like I'm actually on fire. Am no, I on no, fire? No. <laughs> Outtake. <laughs> I think experience gifts are amazing though. Like, yeah. I, like it's difficult. I find it very difficult buying a present for you now. Yeah. And I think whether it's an experience or a subscription, those are sort of the way forward. Mm -hmm. um, because it's a gift. 
that keeps on giving. Oh, but God. do you know what I mean? It's true though, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's but not the just a one that does material have it gift. All, like a, a gift experience is amazing. And if you can do it with someone, then that's really, really cool. Yeah, so those are our Christmas gift ideas for him. As I mentioned over on the blog, I have like an entire Christmas gift guide area, gifts for her, gifts for him, under 50 pounds, luxury, um, stocking fillers, all that kind of thing. So I'll leave the gift guide blog post down below. Have you done a pet specific gift I guide? I haven't, but I will do one. Dexter will be livid. Sausage dog specific. <laughs> um, so as I mentioned, everything mentioned in today's video will be linked down below. I'll also leave Charlie's channel linked down below if you've got any guys that are looking for fashion inspo or grooming inspo. This is your man right here. Seriously though, Charlie's lookbooks at the moment are epic. We're getting they are the there. bomb. We're getting there. And um, yeah, so share it with any male pals you may have. Um, and that is all from us. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Any last words, darling? Um, have an amazing Christmas. Yay! Thanks for watching. Bye.